Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to connect a speed stacks timer, or in this case a QJ timer, to a PC to use on CS timer. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you need is actually a timer itself. For this video, I'll be using the QJ timer, but for the speed stacks, it works uh, exactly the same. I'm not quite sure about the Yuxin and the other brands, but uh, for sure, the QJ timer and the speed stacks timer definitely work. So next, you actually need something to connect your timer into. So for the majority of this video, I'll be connecting it to my custom PC, and a laptop should work this fine too. Alright, so next we're going to need one of these 3.5mm to mini jack cable. Uh, so mine actually came uh, together with my QJ timer. I'm not sure if it comes with the speed stacks one, but if you need one and you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can get one. Alright, so next we're actually going to be plugging the uh, connector into our PC. So since my front audio ports don't really work, I'm going to be using an external USB sound card. And you want to make sure you actually plug the connector into the microphone jack. Alright, so next you actually want to make sure that your timer is connected to your PC. So what we're going to do here is actually going to open up sound preferences. So I'm going to do a little cool trick here. Hey Cortana, open sound settings. Sure, opening change system sounds. Alright, so in recording, you actually want to make sure you have your sound device uh, detected. So in my case, it's my microphone in my USB PNP sound device right here. And so we're going to make sure that that green bar right there is full all the way to the top. And if it's not, make sure you have your jack connected properly. Alright, next we're going to select that microphone and we're going to uh, choose properties. And we're going to go over to levels and put up the gain to 100% click apply and then okay all right so you actually don't really have to change that timer thing to uh, your default device it just leave whatever microphone that you've plugged in if you have one as the default device and the other one you can just leave it right there and I'll tell you why in just a second all right next we're gonna load up Internet Explorer <laughs> No, I'm just kidding guys. Uh, next we're going to open up Google Chrome and we're actually going to go to CS Timer. I actually left a link below to uh, CS Timer so you can just click on that instead. Alright, so after you load up CS Timer, you want to go up to this gear right here which is your options. And then you want to go to Timer and you want to choose this Entering in Times with Stack Mat. And right now a prompt should appear uh, asking you whether CS Timer is allowed to use your microphone. So you're just going to click Allow. Alright, next we're going to go up to the top right corner of our screen over here on the search bar. And click on the li a little cam corner icon here. And then we're going to select Continue Allowing a CS Timer to access your microphone. And then down here you can choose which microphone you are using or that you have connected your timer into. So in my case it's this uh, PNP sound device here. So after that, you're going to click done and then you can start CS timer to save your settings. Alright, so we're actually pretty much done here. Uh, you can actually check whether your timer is working by uh, putting your hands on the timer, of course starting it like normal. And when you start it, it should appear on the screen through your time. And of course, uh, stopping it, it will stop the timer and resetting it should just save the time. So uh, if you try to start the timer and nothing happens, that means it's not working. You actually would want to check your microphone jack first and make sure it's connected properly. And then next, you want to just open up sound preferences and make sure your levels, your gain is set to 100%. So a little thing I want to note next is that when you stop your timer or when you start it, there might be a slight lag in CS timer. That is because it actually takes time to send data from the timer to your PC. But don't worry, the time on your timer on your PC should be exactly the same. So that's it guys for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I actually made this video because I noticed there's not really a good tutorial on YouTube on how to connect your timer to the PC. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you learned something from it. Follow me on social media, the links will be in the description. And if you're new here and like my content, definitely hit the subscribe button. So that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm actually going to leave you guys to watch the rest of my average of 5. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video.